Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am your Total Woman Coach. In this video, I'm going to give you a life update and give you some tea about the car accident I was in. Um, on October 15th, I finished 75 soft and I took me a little bit of break because I was going to celebrate my birthday and just really relax after being in such of a rigid challenge that I vlogged every day. And two weeks after celebrating my birthday, I was like, okay, I'm ready to get back out here. I am going to start vlogging like daily vlogs on completing Total Woman um, daily tasks. And on November 13, I started my vlog. I was really behind on everything, but I said, you know what? I got to start recording because this is a part of my service. This is, this is what I do. This is what I love to do. So I started vlogging and I got all the way up to lunchtime and I was going out to Uber to finish up um, my $60 goal, daily goal. And as I was leaving the bank to deposit, from depositing some tips, I was T-boned coming up the street. It was very scary for me, but in those type of situations, um, I've just always been just by personality and training just to remain calm, assess the situation, make sure everybody is safe. I was able to get out of my car from the passenger side of my vehicle because I was hit on the driver's side. And once I got out the car, I was um, really happy the, the person that hit me remained on the scene because I have been in car accidents where it was a hit and run and the person was okay as well. Um, he was very persistent on just making sure I was okay he admitted to being at fault. So I'm coming down a road and I have the right of way. And then there's a I'm downtown. So there's a lot of little roads where you have to stop and go, stop and go. And he was on one of the roads that where he was supposed to stop at the flashing red light and stop sign. So as I'm coming down the road, he T-bones me because he do not see the flashing red lights and stop sign. So I'm hit really bad. I called the EMS to arrive on the scene. Of course, law enforcement and law enforcement and the fire department arrived as well. Initially, I declined EMS because I thought I was okay. But after speaking to my mom and my family, they were like, no, you need to get in the EMS because you're, you, you was hit pretty bad. And as I was waiting for EMS to come back, because I let them leave, I literally started feeling my body aches and painness and soreness and headaches because my adrenaline, my adrenaline has started to decrease. And now I was kind of like, okay, feeling more like myself. So that brought on more pain and agony. So I went to the emergency room. I got... Um, x-rays done and a CAT scan done. Um, my airbags popped, so I believe my head hit the airbag. People kept asking me, did your head hit the window? I totally do not know because I'm literally driving down the road, minding my business, and boom, this happens out of the blue. The next thing I know, the airbags has deployed. So when I saw the airbags deploy, okay, like I was literally like, okay, I'm, I've been in a car accident. I was on the phone with my best friend, Tequila, which in my last accident that I was T-boned in about two years ago, I was on the phone with her as well. So I just thank God for Hondas and Tequila and, you know, just keeping me safe and protected because this is, is just crazy how everything happened but I was able to get um tested and x-rayed and scanned and everything and I was given medication and I was sent home and I was out of work for about a week that week was more mentally challenging than physically challenging because I know my assignment for this year 
And I have been in a car accident before in 2021 where I was T-boned and I shut down. And a part of being a total woman, the first T in total is tested. And every day I'm reminding myself that God will be testing me and the devil will be tempting me. And sometimes it's kind of hard to decipher between the two because God tests you to elevate you and, and test your knowledge. And he puts you in He puts you in a place where he knows that you can elevate from because he's given you the tools and knowledge. He just needs to see if you're going to use them so he can take you to that next level. Because if you, if you don't pass that test, if he take you to that next level, it will crush you. And he don't want to do that. And the devil tempts us. He puts us in places that we we have visions for and it looks very similar to what god word to what god has given us that vision that word but it does not the fruit of it is not good you know i don't know if you ever you know pray for your husband and you meet a man he's very similar to what you pray for but the fruit of his character or the fruit of his behavior is just not right. You see what you was given, but the fruit of that is not right. So I really feel like this situation was a test. I know that sounds like a horrible test, like God would literally put you in a car accident. But listen, y'all, I got out that car with not a scrape on me not a scrape. Yes, I was in pain. Yes, I was had some soreness. I had a headache. Um, and I'm, I'm going to the doctor. I see a chiropractor. Um, I am not able to physically work out right now. I can walk, but I can't really do any weight training or anything like that right now. So with, you know, with that saying, other than that, I'm alive and I have limbs and I'm walking and I'm talking and um, the, the guy there, he literally stayed there. He asked me like 20 times, was I okay? And he admitted to me he was at fault. As soon as the police came up, he admitted that he was at fault. I sent the ambulance away. The officer said, you call for an ambulance again? I said, yes, I really think I need to go. Um, he was like, let me dispatch them for you because they'll come faster. Like when I say the light in God was wrapped around me on that day, even down to the nurses at the hospital. They were able to get me moving and get me in as fast as they could. I could tell that um, they was really trying to take good care of me. Then I run into another fitness instructor who is a nurse. On, um, on that day, I was in the emergency room. I have never seen this person in person. I've always seen her on Facebook. We congratulate each other. We we support each other. We promote each other. Um, but we have never met. And I met her and she was like, come on, let me take you in the wheelchair so you can get your scans done. When I say I saw God in every bit of that situation. So I come home and my mental isn't right. I'm doubting myself. I'm down in myself. Like, here we go again. I have financial goals. So now I'm in a rental car because my car is being assessed to see if it's going to be total or not. And I can't Uber. It just was very, very tough. Um, and then I had other life going on outside of that. So I just literally took a week, one, to heal, to start the recovery process as far as healing my body. But I had just to take a week to myself to get my mental health back in line. And I thank y'all for being patient. I see the comments on all my social media platforms, um, just praising God and thanking God that he delivered me from the accident and with my all my limbs and mental state. It was a little shaky, but I got it back on track. And I'm here in front of you today, um, sharing my story and being, open and uh, not shutting down and not going into a place where I can figure this out and then I'm going to come out all healthy and clean and well. No, we're going to walk this thing out and through video, through posting and 
I'm not going to stop doing what I'm supposed to do. But I am. I just want y'all to know that I'm that I am OK. And that day, I initially was going to vlog the entire day, similar to 75 South. But just through my prayer time, I asked the guy, what did he want me to do? It was just revealed to me to just record each total woman behavior per video, not vlog everything, take a day and chop it up into three or four videos and post one video a day, um, aimingly trying to post one video a day and just to continue to spread the message of God through total woman behaviors and just being a total woman, uh, total woman behaviors are tapping into your faith, your family, your fitness and nutrition and finances every day. And also understanding who you are as a total woman. We are tested. We are obedient. We um, are aligned with God. We're living in, in purpose. We're going to get back into being a total woman. Well, I am. Y'all probably already been doing it and doing those daily total woman behaviors. I thank you so much for tuning in into this video. So definitely stay tuned if you want to know what total behaviors are and what being a total woman look like. Make sure you subscribe. We are um, just expanding this team every day. I even see subscribers come when I was um, away. So welcome to the channel. Stay tuned. Make sure you like this video. Share this channel to a woman who is lost and looking to be found so we can help her become a total woman, love on her and wrap our arms around her through our comments and posts. And I will see you guys in the next video.